Hey everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you with another video, and guess what? I was married now. I'm just kidding. I've totally been married for 17 years. But how y'all doing? I'm in my happy place. But I am coming to you guys with a bridal makeup tutorial. Now this, what I'm going for you guys is something very, very soft, very, very subtle. This is like your classic bridal makeup, okay? It's like the OG bridal makeup, right? And so I am using, I was about to say MAC, y'all. Am I serious? I'm using Makeup Geek Tan Lines, and I'm putting that in the crease. And oh my gosh, I totally messed up my palette. But this is the new bundle by Makeup Geek. It is called Seeing Red, but we are not gonna use a red lippy today. I'm gonna use something else, but I am taking one of those shadows for the lid. And that wasn't popping enough, so I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Foiled Shadow in Legend, which is the bomb.com. But I will put the names of the shadows in the description box along with the link to the bundle, because I don't even know if you guys know that they sell bundles with like lippies and shadows and blushes and all that good stuff, okay? So now I'm using a dark shade, and I think this is the shade of Bada Bing. Bada Bing, Bada Boom. I think it is, but I will make sure by, well, I will make sure, and then I'll let you know in the description box. How about that, okay? So I am putting that on the end of my eye. I don't wanna say the outer V because I'm not doing a V. I'm just doing two shades on the lid, okay? Like less is more in this look, all right guys? And I'm blending that together. But for my brow bone highlight, y'all know I have been loving the shade Running Late by ColourPop, so that is what I'm using. And I'm making it very soft. This is a very, very soft look, okay? No, I'm just kidding. So I'm blending that out. Whenever you add a brow bone or anything to the lid, you always blend, okay? So I'm using my Coco Misha lashes and I put on some liner. And now I am priming and I have a video on this primer. It is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Primer. Love that primer, all right? And now I'm using Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek, oh my gosh, no. I'm using Makeup Forever's corrector. And you guys, I just did a whole video on their correctors and concealers, all right? So now this foundation. I am using Lancome Tante Doll in the shade 470. And this is so awesome because I was using 500 all these years and that was never really like my right color and I got to try some different shades. I am convinced that 470 is my shade, all right? But listen, I was working with a beauty blender that was not really damp, so that's why it wasn't blending all the way out like I needed it to, but I wasn't getting up, okay? So now I am using Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Deep, which I really love it, but I love mixing it with the hydrating concealer. So that is where this new concealer comes in. And I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer, and this is in the shade Y41, I believe. But listen, you guys, this video was like my first time using this concealer and I learned very very quickly that I did ba -da -ba -da -ya. like look how much I used uh, I wasn't too happy about that but anyway would you look at how this stuff blends out but you guys I do have a separate video on this but look at that like I was very very impressed you see what I'm saying look at that I like it but I still put too much so anyway I'm gonna set that with my Ben Nye banana powder and they work well together too if you guys are thinking about getting it they work very well together all right so we're blending it out blending it out way out but since I put too much on my nose, I'm gonna try to fix that with my contour shade or with the NYX Wonder Stick that I love oh so much. And we're gonna see if that gets it all the way right. When you're doing a classic bridal makeup look, you want the concentration to be on the face. You want the face to be flawless, okay? Which is why I'm contouring with cream because I very seldom contour with cream. But you really want the focus to be on the face. Not so much the eyes, not so much the lips. Well, that's what I do when I do brides, okay? I just like it to be very, very soft. Unless they request more, okay? Now, I've really been missing this girl right here. My BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Powder in 240. I've been been missing her so I had to go back and that is what I'm setting everything with and I am setting that cream contour with some Becca powder and I'm going back into the palette now this is chivalry blush by makeup geek and you guys have seen this many times but um with this blush a dibba dabba do you as well because I put a little too much on my right side which is your left and so yeah we're gonna take care of that like right now because that was some serious and y'all know I don't like a lot of blush so now because I want a really soft subtle highlight I am using Becca's opal and then I'm gonna go on top of it with topaz all right because I really want that inner glow look I don't want it to be overpowering although I love a good highlight so I'm putting a little on my nose my inner corner on my eyes 
And I'm even going to sprinkle a little bit on my brow bone, girl, okay? Because it's all right to be all, you know, shimmery and stuff like that on your wedding day. And not only am I going to put it on my brow bone, but I'm also going to put it, I don't even know what you call this area, but I'm going to put it above my Cupid's bow just to accentuate that area just a little. But don't overdo that because it'll look like you have snot coming out your nose, just saying. And even though I didn't use the Red Lippy by Makeup Geek, I'm giving you another lip option. I'm using Makeup Geek Walt along with gloss, but that hair, girl. Okay, so now I'm using La Bronze by Jackie Ina and Artist Couture, and I am putting a little shimmer on the body and, and you know, on my little chest area, and I decided to change the lippy because who does not want to bling on their wedding day? We don't want dry, crusty lips, okay? We want some juicy lips. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe your hubby won't appreciate that, but anyway, that's what we're doing in this look and this is makeup geeks headliner their foil lip gloss and i'm loving this look you guys so yes that's it for the bridal look i hope you enjoyed please make sure to check out this video of chia that i told you about earlier and another video right chia and you guys have an awesome blessed day i love you guys so much and i will see you sooner than you think bye